Hey, we're Shaggy Homies. So today we got another skill toy up for an unboxing and review. So this is something totally new to me. This is the Zing Dama, which is uh, basically it's a ring dama. It's made by the company Zing, so they called it the Zing Dama. This is the same company that brought us thumb chucks, and um, yeah, it just looks really cool. So a ring dama is basically it's a kendama that you just wear on your hands. So it's like a mini kendama kind of. It doesn't have the spike and stuff, but it's got like nine different cups that you can catch the ball on, and you can either wear it on one finger, multiple fingers, or you can just hold it. And yeah, it just looks really cool. So I'm totally new to this. I'm not even good at regular kendama, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but I got this at Walmart. It was $7, I think. Actually, it might've been cheaper than that. I think it was $6. But anyways, um, yeah, let's unbox it, check it out, play with it, and do the thing. Okay guys, so here's the package actually. Pretty nice packaging. Zing, that's the company once again that makes it ages four and up. Uh, flip and catch. Hashtag everyday play. Um, here, you can see it lights up in the packaging. I know it's kind of bright in here, but I'm sure you can still see that. So really cool, both the ball and the ring part, whatever you want to call it. They both light up, so very cool. Uh, choking hazard, all that garbage. And uh, yeah. So I think that's that's about it. So that was easy. And here we go. Okay, so the ball feels very similar to like the thumb chucks. Um, it's it's a little different, but it, the way it feels like the rubber it's made out of, like it's gonna bounce. Oh yeah, yeah. So you'll be able to do like bounce tricks with it too and stuff. And then this, this is like a harder plastic, but uh, it's got a nice feel to it. It's uh, what do you call it? It's got like, uh, I don't know, it kind of feels like if it was, if it was um, powder coat, not powder coat, sandblasted. Like it's got like a nice surface to it. And yeah, so let's open this up. They tied this all crazy, like a Boy Scout or something. There we go. Okay, so quite the long, uh, it's about, actually, I don't know, like 16 inches. Quite the long rope. Um, I was not expecting it to be that long, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with this thing. But here is where you can either, you can either just pull it like all the way through so it, and then hold it and do tricks like that, I know. Or you can pull it, put it on like one finger, you know, and then play with it like that. Or you could, I think it'd probably be a little easier if you were a beginner to put it on a couple fingers so you can make it, go on. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, that's how it works. Okay, you know, you can put it on like a couple fingers or three fingers, you know, so you, you can really customize it to how you like it. I think a lot of tricks, it'd be cooler to not even have it connected so then you could like throw it around, catch the other side, throw that around. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, I'm probably gonna be terrible at this. Uh, it's pretty cool how they, Nick engraved, I don't know if you can even see that, but it says Zing Dama right in there. But it looks really cool. And then this is nice and padded where it goes against your finger. But that's about it. It looks like uh, these batteries, once they're dead, they're dead. I don't really know. There is some type of something here. I don't know if this actually opens it up so you can replace the battery or what that is. But there's some type of like push in thing right there. Which I don't know. You, I mean, it is two pieces. Maybe you can pull it apart. I don't really know. And then this one, can you replace the battery on this? Probably not, but these are probably gonna last pretty long time. Uh, if not, it was very cheap and whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I guess let's play with it. Let's see how horrible I am. Okay guys, so I got it all set up. So let's start off just trying to catch it on the main part. Oh, oh okay, so not, not too hard. Definitely doable. <laughs> okay, these side ones definitely look like they're going to be a little harder. Oh yeah. There we go. So, yeah, I was able to do it. So you can like combo it. You know, there's probably like all sorts of cool stuff you could do. Ah. Missed it. <laughs> but it's actually pretty fun just like this. So the main one isn't that hard. I don't know if you're supposed to wear it on the bottom like that, or on the top like that, or if it doesn't matter. But they're both a 
bug just as easy. Um, I think it would kind of be cool to just not even hold it then. Then you can like, you know, you could throw around this end too. You know, you could do all sorts of stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm like totally making this up as I'm going. So I don't really know what I'm doing. But I think that's kind of how skill toys are in general. Things like this. Uh, a lot of this is imagination. Yeah, I wonder if I could like catch this on that. <laughs> Oh, no, that's kind of, that seems hard. <laughs> but I could throw that around and then catch it on there. Vice versa. So I think I'd have more fun just playing with it like this. Just holding it and it makes it easy to switch it there. Back. No. Oh, didn't work. But yeah, I think this thing is really cool. Um, I got this at Walmart, so pretty impressed that Walmart's starting to carry some skill toys at least. <laughs> yeah, but I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is fun. So, I, uh, I think for $6, this is definitely, definitely worth it. Um, yeah, I recommend everybody checks out these and then lets me know, you know, what you come up with. If they weren't so long, too, I'd be able to do some, like, regular tricks on them. But, yeah, you could have shortened it. But then it probably wouldn't work as good as, as the Kendama. Yeah, a lot of fun and actually really challenging. I think Kendama is actually it, like so hard that I get like really frustrated. I think just at least just the regular catch on here is actually, you know, pretty easy. You know, for the most part, not like crazy easy, but enough where it's not making me want to pull my hair out. So I think this thing's a lot of fun for the price it is. It can't go wrong. It's made out of rubber. It bounces. You can't really break it easily. And yeah, see, look, still works fine. So. Thanks guys for watching, hope you liked the video. Let me know if there's any other weird skill toys you want to see me check out, because I like checking out new things, and I'll see you later.